One, it can be useful to use the various LaTeX tools to create graphs and other images that we want to include either in a LaTeX document or in a LaTeX Beamer presentation. There are regularly situations where it will be more efficient if we make use of some software package to generate some graphics and then to include those graphics in a LaTeX document. Now there are a number of file formats that can be used for graphics ranging from PostScript, an encapsulated PostScript, to the more commonly used graphics formats such as bitmaps, TIFF files, JPEG files and so on. So there's a package called GraphicX which is available for LaTeX and this package is useful for including graphics in a LaTeX document. So what we're going to do is we'll take a quick look at a graph that we've produced in R. So here we've got the total runs scored by a cricketer against six particular opposition countries. So what we would do here is we could save this file as for example a JPEG file or one of the other formats and then include it within our LaTeX Beamer document. So we've included the package at the start of our document and if we scroll down we've got a couple of frames here in a couple of subsections. So the first one is total runs which is that file that we've just seen and this was saved as itb-runs.jpg now we use the include graphics command and then provide it with the name of the graphics file now we haven't put the extension in because the package will automatically check some common extensions and try and include the file now in the square brackets before the name of the file we've got this height equals command and we specified that we want the height of the picture to be two and a half inches in our presentation file so if we move across to the presentation file and we go through a couple of slides we'll see that what we've got here is that graph that we were looking at before but it's over on the left hand side of the slide which may not be ideal for a presentation unless we're intending to put some text on the right hand side so we're going to take a look at another example so it's a similar type of graph but this time using wickets rather than runs and this has been saved as the file itb-wickets.jpg we again use the height command to make it the same height as the previous graph but we've got the begin center and end center options so that, that graph is centered on that particular slide so if we go back to the presentation and move forward a couple of slides we'll now see that it's the same size as the batting graph but it's been centered and this looks easier um, to follow in particular as we haven't got any text either side of it. 